but he wants you to remember that this adversary was a created creature cast down from below. He has no power or authority except that which you choose to yield unto him. God says, hear my voice and I will lead you out of the wilderness. I know the way. You may be lost, but I am not lost. You may believe that there is no hope, but I am hope. You may believe that this darkness cannot get any clearer, but I am the way, the truth, and the light. <laughs> and that you think that you're in your midnight hour, but I want you to know that I am the constructor of time. <laughs> and if you hook up on the mechanism of the clock, <laughs> reminding you again, I tell you, that whatever that clock is made of, I made it. <laughs> the author and the finisher of all things. Time came because I said, and time will go when I say, don't be overcome by things that you have no control over. Give it up right now. Surrender to me and I will rescue you. Here in Isaiah, the prophet is saying, remember ye not the former things. It's amazing that when you're down and out, when you find yourself in your wilderness struggling, the enemy, he opens up the dark cavities of your mind and he begins to whipping you and pounding you with those things that should be forgotten and dead and buried and he causes them to rise to the surface and you the energy to fight back. You start chewing on all of this unsavory stuff, making yourself sicker and sicker while you grow weaker and weaker. He is setting you up for the kill. But Isaiah says here, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold your God, my God, he will do a new thing in your life. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Why? Why is God being so specific here? Because the enemy will always cause the enemy will always cause you to consider that there is an exception and that your situation is just too hard and that there is no way it can possibly be. But when you listen and hear what the word of God says, you see that he's letting you know that that which seems impossible to man is possible to him. When you are lost, you can't find your way. But God knows the way. And in the desert, whatever the desert is of your life, it's missing what it needs for you to have life. And he it says, in the desert of your life, I will cause a river, a river to be in the midst of the desert. I will make you able to become a fertile place. You are dried up right now. And there seems to be only dryness, nothingness ahead for you. But I will bring you the river of living water. And I will cause you to flourish as you have never flourished before. I'm telling you that there is no exception. I can do all things, says God. Why worry when there is no need to? He says, focus on me. And I will lead you. And I will show you the way. 
He says in chapter 51 of Isaiah, I, even I, am he that comforteth you. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass? And forgettest the Lord thy maker that hath stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth? Hath feared continually every day because of the failure of the oppressor? As if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? God is telling us here. Why are you focusing? Why are you remembering? Why are you giving? Abundant, overflowing time to that which you have no need to fear. Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you, God, that we have been awakened. And that whether we call our place the wilderness or the desert, that we have been reassured that this fear, that this ideology that I have no hope, that my situation is the one that cannot work, that is not true. That it is only true that I am the one that cannot make it work. But I have you and I have remembered, just as the prodigal son, that I shall return to my father. For he has plenty of food and plenty of everything else. Thank you, God, for your word of truth. And we receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Amen.